Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and we are back for the last hashtag 50 stack challenge two. However, no need to fear. After um, this one is complete, we're gonna take one week off, and then the following week we will start kind of our Christmas in July uh, hashtag 50 stack challenge. So I'm not sure <clears throat> what I'm gonna call it yet, sorry. Um, I don't know. I'll think about that. It doesn't really matter. I'll let you know at the time and you, you'll be able to post or do whatever. But anyway, we're going to do another one. I have two little slips of paper left in here. So that's why I'm drawing out of the bag. So our last one will be little and big. So 49 will be little. Number 50 will be big. And when we're all done, I'll also go through all of the past um, hashtag 50 stack challenge ephemera just so that you guys can see it again if you know you want to do that. So we have 49 is little, 50 is big. If you're not familiar with this challenge, it's a 25 week challenge where we make 50 pieces of ephemera or whatever art that you like to make, like if you do paintings or whatever, um, you can do that because I don't care about what background you use or any of that. The only rules is that you use the um the prompts so last week we had like so this was my interpretation of like on a vintage uh, flash card and dislike on a guest check was this gentleman <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway that was like and dislike just to give you an idea of um maybe how you might do something like that. And it's interpreted the way you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be the way I did it. It's just your interpretation of like and dislike. And the same with this, your interpretation of little and big. So I'm gonna go get some things together and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back with little and big. It's been a few days. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Get that out of the way. For little, I'm going to use this little Tim Holtz person. And then for big, I'm going to use the big version. All right. So I have a little journaling card and a larger big journaling card, whatever you want to say. And we're just going to do some collage and get those all fancied up for some journal at some point. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fantastic. I'm doing good. Just um, had a busy week last week. That's why you probably didn't, or, you know, you didn't see me as much. I didn't do short videos and all those things. I just didn't have time. My aunt was here. It was awesome to hang out with her. And we did some collage and things. So that was fun. Didn't get around to making a video. I sometimes... <laughs> I just, uh, if I have people around, I just want to hang out with them, you know. I'm sure you guys understand. I mean, it's fun to do videos, too, for sure, with them. But All right, I'm going to put this here, I think, and then we'll put some other little things on. I'm trying to decide if I want more red or something back there. Maybe just like a strip of these flowers. And these, this is just scrapbooking paper. And I think I got it at Joann's or something. I don't know. But just use what you got. Just regular scrapbook paper. So it was, it was great seeing my aunt and then my other aunt came to pick her up to take her um, to her place. She lives about four and a half hours away or so. So yeah, it was good. I got to see her as well and we all went to breakfast and that was fun. So that is the awesome part about this time of the year. We do tend to see more family, right? Or we go travel to family. So yeah, it was fun. 
right, I need a glue bag. So I guess this isn't uh, much of a hurrah for the last two 50 stack challenge pieces, but it just was like, oh, these little and big uh, Tim Holtz pieces will work lovely because they're the same. So it, it definitely gives you that <clears throat> idea of what you're talking about, you know. Um, sometimes when you look at a piece, you might not understand what the the thing is. But I think with these, hopefully, you'll sort of be able to tell. Kind of congested this morning. <laughs> I -E -I -I. My aunt brought me this beautiful, um, it's a 1800s wedding fan from my three times great grandmother's wedding. And it's beautiful. I'll try to remember to show it to you guys one of these times. But um, yeah, she brought that for us to have it, you know, <clears throat> in the family and make sure that it stays in the family so that was super awesome so i think i might have it reframed and then i'm gonna hang it in my bedroom because i have some antique valentines in there <clears throat> from my dad's side of the family so this will be from my mom's side of the family so that'll be kind of a neat little tribute And that'll be fun. I'm going to rough this up a little bit because it's kind of very <laughs> new looking. Kind of want it to look like an old one of those flashcards that's been used. Okay. A little coloration on those little cracks that it gets when you jumble it around like I did. <clears throat> um, what did I do with my art glitter glue? That's a very good question. See, I took a bunch of stuff downstairs to um, collage with my aunt, and I thought I had it all back up here, but I don't. So I'm going to use this bottle, and hopefully it'll work. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! been a while since I used this one so oh and as you can see I'm kind of doing a tribute to um, America's Independence Day 4th of July coming up on us shortly so thought it would be fun too to use those little girls with the flags I'm gonna put this stamp this is a newer stamp but I like it because it's got the stars and stripes on there and maybe we'll put the star up here and that's just a tim holtz piece i don't even remember which ephemera pack that's in but it's in one of his <laughs> little packages of all kinds of ephemera that i've had forever i this star has been floating around forever Time to use it. Have a little tribute to Old Glory. I should have put this on first. I forgot that I was going to do that. Just lift it a little. An old three cent stamp on part of a airmail envelope here. These are from my friend Lorraine. Thank you, Lorraine. She gave me all her mom's old letters and things and said I could do what I wished with them. So, super, super kind. I'm going to kind of rough up that corner just even a little bit more. I 
and they have been so fun to play with. Put our little girl on here with her flag. Oh, I've got the shakies real bad this morning. Got too much coffee. <laughs> I mean, I do that anyways, but the coffee does not help. Oh, I forgot I was going to put her where the... I don't want to cover up little, do I? But we're going to a little... <laughs> we're going to cover little a little. <clears throat> Try not to get too much glue on top of the paper dolls because it does leave spots and marks. Okay, so then we're gonna cut our corners. And I don't think I'm gonna worry about trying to punch a hole in it or anything. I might put a piece of fabric at the top and I'll have to back it. But for now, it's good, ready to go in a journal. So there's little. In her little self and then we'll do big not very complicated today all right i think for this one i'm gonna use this red and blue because i like that stripe going down there i have to figure out which way did i decide i think i want her on this side so i'm gonna tear it there a little off the other side too. Oh, sorry, there's a bad word on there. One of those dollar store books, and sometimes I just don't catch it because I'm just um, I'm making an altered book, and so I was tearing pages out and just had a stack of them and glued two together and cut it to size and didn't really, you know, didn't read it or anything. So sorry about that. Was not intended. All right. So we're going to put her some, you know, on there. And then I have, let me see. I didn't have one of these that said big, unfortunately, that would have been too perfect, right? But let's see, we got the word. Big. Not that you have to put it on there, but I just think that's kind of fun for what we got going on. And then we have this little Tim Holtz piece. And then we have loads of stamps and things that we can decorate with. That's Tim Holtz as well. But I think that'll work. <clears throat> Maybe we'll put a piece of this Tim Holtz washi because a lot of it's blue and red. So that'll be fun. Super simple today. But this is the thing about doing these challenges. It does not have to be some big complex thing every time. Just because it's a challenge. The challenge is just to use the um, prompts, right? You don't have to make it some crazy thing every time. And we're going to continue on. So this is the last one of the 50 stack challenge too. Obviously because this is 49 and 50. Um, so then we're going to take a week off. And then once July starts, we'll start again with a 50 stack challenge. Um, for Christmas. Sorry, my brain just went bleh. And somebody mentioned it's too early for Christmas. And I completely agree. I do, I do, I do, I do. Because I struggle doing Christmas in July as well. But I think around Christmas, we'll all be super happy if we have a few pieces already made. Because I don't know about you. But that time of the year, I'm lucky to get any journals done because <laughs> it just gets chaotic. So, yeah, I hope that will help. Uh, you cannot tear this Tim Holtz tape. I was hoping I could, but it won't. But it's linen tape, so it's not it's not washy. But I kind of want to get a few threads if I can out of it. Uh, it's not going to do nothing. I think I'm just going to kind of put it on sort of as a background thing. Do I want to go this way? Maybe we'll go this way. I'm just winging it. I'm going to 
zoom kit just a little because it looks a little new. All right. Like I said, she'll go something like this. We're going to put big on along there. I'm going to rough these up a little bit too because they look a little... These are just some letters that I had from my scrapbooking days. So they're not very vintagey looking, but <clears throat> that's what I had. Wish I had another one of those uh, flashcards. That would have been cool. But it's also kind of fun to have something different. Bend that a little too. I'm going to put this down with some art glitter glue. I'm just going to kind of do this. Ay, 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 little girl, come here. <laughs> get, get all the her. I love these old images with the American flag. I just, I just do. They're so sweet. I love old sold photographs anyway, but, um, yeah, I love all those with the flag. That will work well. Okay, and then we need some other stuff on here. I have these, which are very cool. Could do scoop big up a little bit. Tear a little bit more of that envelope off. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> Sticky fingers and all. Uh, like lift and grab everything. Just Let's see, I feel like I need a little something else on there. Just want maybe a little tissue. Kind of like the way that's all crunkle, crunkled, crunkled down. It's crunkled down, you guys. Um, do you like the crunkles? Let's see. I have some really cool stamps here. That would look neat. Oops, it goes this way. Couldn't tell what was happening there. Or do I want maybe a red one? Good. I'm just doing kind of cattywampus. I do want to clip the corners of that and put here. Why don't I do it first? Because otherwise, oh, you know what? I got to cover the back first if I'm going to do that. Sorry. Get it together, Amy. Oh, let's see. Coffee dyed. We'll cover up the bad word or words. I didn't even know. I just saw the one. So <laughs> I didn't do it. And I'm gonna tear this, even though it's a cool edge on there with the where the coffee settled. I don't know why you need so many bad words in books. I mean, I know people kind of talk like that and all, but I just don't understand. It's 
really not necessarily you can get your point across without that. But nobody asked me, so. I'm not saying that I don't ever cuss. I'm just saying I don't think it's necessary in the books. my little card went. It is. Okay. Make sure I have it the right way up. And then we'll do the punch so I know where that's going to land because I like this punch. But I know it's not going to fit on the little one, so. And then we'll do the corners. And that's going to pretty much do the top. <laughs> You're not going to be able to have a whole lot more. Did I get that right? Sometimes it's like they get in there crooked or something. Now it looks like that one's more. <laughs> uh. Okay. Got that. Now we can put our things on. So I think I'm gonna go with the field label piece of tissue paper. This is one uh, piece of tissue paper that I just stamped with those Tim Holtz stamps that have that field label. I kind of like it all crumply. You're not really gonna see a lot of it anyway by the time the girl and the, uh, the big letters get on there, but it's okay. Try another side that I want to use for glue. Okay. Caddy Wampus, like I said. And then what did I decide I wanted over there? Oh, yeah, these two. I'm just going to use this. The thing I like about the liquid glue is I don't have to have a glue page. <laughs> nice but to use this way a little and then we're gonna figure out where she's gonna stand probably about like yay or maybe over a little more because we got to get big in there oh my gosh I can't pick up anything cut my fingernails off and as you know, when I do that, I can't get anything off of the table. <clears throat> I'm not short. Okay, we're going to do it that way. I'm going to use this because I don't want to deal with it cutting the uh, glue stick. fun yet. Scoot it down just a little so that they don't, so if they aren't even, it will look like I meant it that way because I always seem to get one lower than the other or whatever if I try to make them even, so I'm not even going to try. And I just make them jiggity jaggedy, anyways. Oops, let's get that little piece or it'll be lifting the little piece of the flag. I'm 
All right, I'm gonna take my Stabilo All pencil. Do I have any water available? Water, water. Check my water pens. Yes, there's water. Okay. I didn't think about this part before I started. So Stabilo All is water soluble if you're not familiar. If you watch me, you're familiar. <laughs> And so it's good, like, for these to ground them because otherwise they sometimes, you get that feeling that they're, like, floating in space or something. I don't know. But anyway, the Stabilo All helps with that. And plus it just kind of is cool. Anyways. You can make, like, some of it get on here and it'll just antique that even more. Not that it really needs a lot, but... And I think I want to stamp or something along there. Let's do this one first with her little feet. Her little feetsies. This one, it's not really necessary, but I like it. stamp is lifting right there. All right. What else? Oh, yeah, I was going to do a little bit of stamping, huh? Let's cover this. Get my corn cob. <laughs> I need to get another piece. Someone said if you put a hairspray on it, but I don't know. It's like it just gets kind of mashed, but I don't know. I've got lots of them, so I'm <laughs> not that worried. <laughs> but they are cool. And I do like the mark they leave. Just a little bit, too. Just adds a little something, I feel like. And then, what else? Do I want anything else? Um, hmm. Maybe just a little bit of this. Figure out what's up and down. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Anymore and it'll just get too, too muddled. So there is our little, very fun, and our big. Just need to put a little ink do in there and then I gotta back the little one, but that's easy. And then I'll stitch around them. And that'll be little and big. So we are done with the Hashtag 50 stack challenge two. But if you are just now seeing this video and you're like, oh man, I want to do it. Well, for starters, we're going to start the Christmas one. But if you're like, I don't want to do a Christmas one, you can start this one whenever you want because the videos are available. So, um, and there's playlist and there's playlist with other people that are doing it as well. So, um, yeah, you can join in at any time. Don't feel like, oh, it will. Um, you can join in at any time. Okay, guys, so. here's the fan I wanted to show you. So sorry about the weird cutoff for the um, hashtag 52 stack challenge um, when I ended because I had forgotten, said goodbye and all that. And then I was like, oh, I wanted to show them this. And I want to show you guys all uh, the whole stack of the 50 stack challenge too. So anyway, I'm back. So <laughs> this is the antique fan. This was my three times great grandmother's wedding fan so um yeah isn't it just amazing I mean I want to have it reframed but I'm terrified to do that 
because the frame, the problem is the frame is kind of broken at the top. And so I'm worried that, you know, if I hang it, it'll get messed up. So if you guys know anything about that and want to give me some advice, I would be happy to hear it. I'm going to move this out of the way. So I'm going to come in a little bit closer. Sorry about all the light glares, but that's, you know, that's how we do these things. I'm going to come in like this because we're, now we're going to look at all the 50 stack challenge pieces and I'm going to set this over here. Sorry, that was just me knocking something over. It wasn't the frame. <laughs> okay, so let's get the light back on here a little bit better. And then we got all the stack. The whole stack. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So we're going to go through and look at all of them because, I mean, I think that's kind of the fun part, right? That you have this giant stack of ephemera when you're done. If you're making ephemera or now you have a big stack of uh, watercolors or um, collages or whatever it is you decided to do for your uh, 50 stack challenge. All right. So. <laughs> and for the Christmas one, what I'm going to try to do when I make the prompts is make it so that people who don't celebrate Christmas um, could maybe, like if I do some color things and um, just things like that, that they might be able to use it in a different way um, for their the holiday they celebrate or some other type of ephemera they want to make. So anyways, don't feel like, oh, well, I don't celebrate Christmas, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to really try hard to just do prompts that are sort of sort of general, but that those of us that want to make Christmas ephemera can make Christmas ephemera with them. Okay. So anyhow, so um, if you'll remember back a very long time ago, 25 weeks ago, uh, we have number one was winter. So these are journal toppers. They're on corrugated cardboard. So you, you wouldn't see this side back here. It would get glued down or um, stitched down or whatever. And then we have summer because that was the number two one. Okay, and then we have, I'm going to have to kind of lean those over there. We have number three was old. So I have this older lady with her giant mushroom. Check that mushroom out. In one hand. That's like just the top of a, are those ones called chanterelle? Those flat ones on top? I don't know. Anyhow, that is that one. And then young, I did these, this little cutie in a pocket here in a tag. So some of them I did like tags or whatever and other ones I didn't. I'm just going to stack them over here because otherwise we'll be here all day. And then this one was fast and slow. So we have fast was five, slow was six, fast and slow. And those are just journaling cards. And then this one was moon and sun. So seven was moon, eight was sun. So moon and sun. I did tarot cards. That was a digital download, and so then it's just a little pocket in here that has tags and things to pop into another journal pocket, and then you got lots of little writing spaces, right? Okay, and then we have, I think it was funny and serious, right? I see serious there. Yeah, funny and serious. So this is my funny. She's stitching his pants while he's wearing them. <laughs> and that opens up, and you can write here, and then there's a pocket there. So that's an envelope hooked to just a piece of book page so that you can make a little flippy thing. And then serious was this more serious Victorian picture of a wedding, but their faces are very serious. <laughs> it's like, are you guys having fun or what? All right. And then we had sit and stand. And these are old Victorian images that I have also in a digital. So she's sitting on this old Victorian exercise contraption and she's standing obviously I'm just a girl standing in front of a salad asking for it to be a donut <laughs> and then these are pockets so they're both just different style of pockets I don't mean to brag but I finished my 14 day diet in three hours and 12 minutes <laughs> okay so that's that and then um, I have Soft and rough, so the soft heart, and this, yeah, has a envelope pocket, opens there, so you would just attach it to your journal. And then rough were these sandpaper hearts, and it's also the same style. Some of them I did the same thing for both, other ones I did something different, so. And then this is 
what do we have? Land and water. So I have the farmer with his, his land. And then for water, and these were old images out of a history book. And then there are little pockets on the back. So there's a tag in this one. And another tag in this one. Oh, there's another little something in there. So you could have it go this way. I think I just had it tipped over so that it would stay in there better while in the box. Okay, so land and water. And then we had many, many little kitty cats. And few, just two. And these are little, like, uh, scrap books, you know, so that you can use the scraps or you can just write on them in a journal. So there's that. And then this one was happy and sad. We have these boys that are very happy. And these are flashcards, old flashcards that are just folded over to make a pocket. And then um, a tag inside. And sad is this little guy. He's just not happy. It's very sad. Okay, so that's that, those two. And this is rich and poor. I did a rich kitty and a poor kitty. <laughs> poor kitty, he caught his pants. <laughs> so anyway, just funny. Funniness, those are guest checks. And then we have black and white. Black and white, yep. Yeah. So I used the Tim Holtz ladies. This one she's wearing black and this one is wearing white and this has uh, white lace across there journaling card and the black lace and those darker items there so that's black and white and then we had a boy and girl so here's our little boy and these are the joey card maker um cabinet cards Yeesh. and they're little Tim Holtz those stackable pockets or well it's not stackable lots of slots is the word that I'm looking for and then girl isn't she adorable they're both just so cute and I just did little collage in the bottom and then added the Tim Holtz pockets and filled them up with all kinds of fun goodies so that was a very fun one Boy and girl and then we had dark and light and I used this twice and I didn't even realize it. Isn't that so funny? So this one's dark fairies and light. I think that's an, more of an angel, but you know, you get the you get the picture anyway. And they're just book page pockets made out of book page. And there's a tag inside. Maybe if I can get a hold of it. I'm trying. They're kind of fragile because they are old book page pockets. So there. And then we had together and apart, or apart and together, how's that? So we have apart, miss you, and these are glassine bags, and they just have a plain tag inside. And then together, all you need is love. And those are also, that's also a glassine bag. And then we had odd and even, or even and odd. Even and odd. So even would be the two people. A nice journaling card there. And then odd is just the uh, child by themselves. So odd number, right? And that's also a little pocket. And then we have hot and cold. So we have a summer day, very similar, obviously, to summer and winter, but still gets the point across, and that's all that matters. Hot and cold. Oh my gosh, my stack is getting like the Leaning Tower Pizza over here. Uh, we have empty and full. So the empty one has no image in it, so you could write on this frame. My old postcard there. And full it has an image, so it's full of a picture. And another old postcard. And these are old book page pockets as well. Or no, those are, I think that's just paper. Yeah, tea dyed paper that I added, collaged on. Got it. And then we have laugh and cry. So these, these people are laugh, obviously. And this lady has cherries in her teeth. 
just silly old Victorian photographs. And so there's places to write and that would just get glued down onto your page. And cry. These ladies are crying for their brother they lost. And then that one flips open that way. That's just how it worked because I used a tall skinny envelope or this is the envelope tall skinny envelope cut it in half and made two pockets so in order to have one at the bottom um, with the flap that hooks to the book page <laughs> I know this is all very confusing I have one that opens one way and one that opens the other you can see the whole envelope here so it went like that originally so that's that laugh and cry and then 39 and 40 were good and evil so I just did kind of a cartoony image of good and evil. And these were those fun little pocket or uh, unfolding. And there's a video for this. So you just have to find the number 39 and 40 um, 50 stack challenge if you didn't do this with us. This is supposed to open and it got stuck. So it's like a whole sheet of ledger paper that gets all folded up and put between these two pieces of paper. And then in this one is another pocket, so there's more journaling space. So good evil, clearly, right? And then we have, see, use that angel again. <laughs> I love that angel, left and right. And so I had, um, you know, the one that is looking looking towards the right, this one, and the one looking towards the left. That's how I decided to do left and right. So it's just your own interpretation of how you want to do these. I'm not going to say, yeah, you did that wrong. It's just however you want to do it. Really, the whole idea is to have fun and make a whole stack of ephemera. <laughs> That's really the point. And then uh, alive and unalive. So I have alive poppies, blooming poppies that are all vibrant and then unalive is just the dried out poppy pod so unalive nice watercolors there and then uh what's this one lady and gentleman that's right so i did a couple for those because I, they're so simple they were just on some of my printed out backgrounds and then i added the art dolls that are in my shop and then this um, is that new watercolor digital that I have, the abstract one that's the uh, watercolor forest add-on. And I just added some tissue and some art dolls and a little phrase or saying. So I did two of the lady and gentlemen. So I have even more ephemera. And then last week was like and dislike. So obviously like and dislike. <laughs> And you can see these aren't on the same uh, substrate. So this is an old flashcard and this is a guest check. I only had one of these flashcards, so um, that's all there was, but doesn't matter. Two pieces of ephemera and you use the prompts. All right, and then big and little, or little and big, however you wanna say it. And that's the one we did today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly did. And I think that the Christmas one or holiday type season one will be very fun so definitely join me for that these will probably possibly end up in my shop um i just packaged up a whole bunch of other ephemera that i've made that will be going in the shop but you guys just bear with me because um i have to take photographs of everything and then get it listed and that takes a while and i have to do each like if I do two together, I have to do a listing for each set. I, I've tried the variation thing with Etsy and it doesn't work because um, I sell, like say if I sold this set and then um, somebody comes along, the picture's still there and they order that set. I don't know why it doesn't uh, take it away but it doesn't so then everything just gets all jumbled up and confused and people are mad and you know what I'm saying like like two people could buy the same set and I don't want that to happen so I list them all separately so it just takes me a really long time and I, like I said I have to photograph all of it so you know all the pieces you're getting um the other uh packs that I'm working up right now there's like five pieces in each pack so um you know and so there's information and 
measuring and everything of those. So just bear with me, but I will keep listing stuff and as I can. And But if there's one of these that you know you like or want, just contact me and I can um, do a, a listing for you specifically because it's really easy when it's a, a custom order because I can just do the custom order picture and then in the description just put custom order and the price and all that. And so then I don't have to go through as much with the measuring and the, all the stuff. So if if you see one of these or you know which one of those that you might want, um, just contact me in my Etsy shop. On my Etsy shop, not in the not below in comments because trying to keep track of that, there's just no way. So contact me on my Etsy shop. That's the best way if you um, are interested in anything in my shop. So anyway, I will chat with you guys again soon. Love you guys. Bye.